guys, Cosp here. Today I'm here to show off um, another set of things that I got. I got this from Amazon today, uh, and they, uh, some of them are out today. This will be a two-part video. Um, so yeah, here we go. Let's start off by showing you the stuff that I got first. So what I what arrived first was this. It, this is a six-foot Game Boy to GameCube link cable. It allows you to uh, plug this end to your GameCube, and this, uh, where is it? This end to your Game Boy uh, to allow you to use your Game Boy as a controller. So yeah, plus right here is that you could plug this in and put, put in a link cable and link it with your friend's Game Boy, your other Game Boy, and then you could, uh, well, Game Boy Advance, that is, and you could, you know, play, uh, then the other Game Boy will become a controller, allowing you to have up to eight controllers if you have four of these. I'm not kidding. You can have up to eight. I don't know if it, uh, they all work at once, but if you have um, four of these, plug them in, get four link cables, plug these in, and you need eight Game Boys, but still, yeah. Still possible, but unlikely. Then, um, I'll let you know whether this works when the Game Boy Advance comes, but I got this, which is a, uh, Game Boy Charger. I don't know if it actually plugs in, because it doesn't look like the right size for the Game Boy Advance SP, but I'll let you know when it arrives, so yeah. Then, the, uh, thing that I got most recently, which I'm happy about, was Metroid Zero Mission. And now, something awesome happens. I was wondering, does it have any save data? Well, let's find out. Huh, I guess I can record, huh, Zero Mission like this. Cool. So yeah, here we go. Chazodia. It has three save files. One is in Orfair, Brinstar, and Chazodia. So I went to my options, and it turns out it has uh, Metro, oh, the original Metroid, Metroid Fusion, and the galley already has two endings. This one, which is the, um, I believe, um, uh, above 15% gap. Uh, so yeah, let me have, uh, over four hours. Then we have this one, which is Samus in her red, uh, red suit, which is in the latest, uh, Smash game. And you can even play the original Metroid, as you can see. So, yeah. You can actually play the original Metroid on this game. Boy, thing. So, yeah, I'm just gonna kill myself. What's really cool is they made one of the improvements that they could never ever do. That so now you don't need a password. You can actually save to the memory now. So that is awesome. No, I didn't mean to put it. Say yes. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, let me die again. Considering it's very easy to die in this. One hit. Two hit. Three hits. It only takes three hits to kill you at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Um, no. No, no, I said no. Thank you. So that sends you back to here. So if I press start, here we go. Start game, continue. So yeah, this actually is really cool because now I can't turn on my missiles for one major reason. LNR is broken. So yeah, that's that. So it works like a charm, which is awesome. Then, I also received this in the mail. <coughs> Game Boy Player. I love it. Why? Because it allows you to play Game Boy games on a Game Cube. Now how awesome is that? And of course, uh, since what you might be thinking, so it took you a while to find one that came with this, but it came a Game Boy Player startup desk. So yeah, I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to open up the Game Boy Player for you and show you where to put it. I assume that you have to unbolt the back 
I found another way to open it. Look at all seriousness. I don't know why they open this thing. They put it in the disc. So yeah, you plug in the link cable also to here. To use your controller if you don't have a Game Boy and a GameCube. But yeah. I have a screwdriver right over here. Here's what it came with. Let's see, let me check in here. Ah! Instruction manual. This could be helpful. Huh. So if I didn't realize that it came with any instruction manual. Give me a second, guys. You will look at my table for a minute while I read the instructions. Oh, never mind. This is not an instruction manual. Manual. It is my return order thing. So, let's open this up. Oh wait, first I'm going to show off other parts. But. So right here is where you, right here is where I instruct the Game Boy game. See? Then, uh, can't pull it out as you can smoke. Uh, you can't pull it out. Well, you can, but I think it breaks the game. But So, you have that. Which ejects it. So yeah, right now I'm going to open this up. Am I turning it the right way? I have no clue whether I'm turning it the right way or not. Oh boy, uh, this is annoying. I can't seem to undo it. Uh-oh, that's a problem. Did you open it from here or something? How do you open this thing? Shiz, how do you open this? What the shiz, how do you open it? How do you open this thing? Well, the Game Boy player may be in part. Well, part. Uh, may have its own part. Because I don't know how to open this thing. I don't know how to open this. I don't know where to open it. Hmm. How do I open you? Game Boy Player, how do I open you? How do I put in the startup disk? Where do I put in the startup disk? Does it tell me? Uh, no, it doesn't tell me how to open this. That's a nice game, that's nice. That's a nice Game Boy Player. If only it would tell me how to open this. So, uh, I'll be back. 